Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. What's that, Raquel? I was going to say, somebody sent me something the other day, too, where it it was like H1757 or something, some bills that mm -hmm. people are proposing, where it taxes like 50% on ammo and you have to get like a permit to purchase ammo and they're mm -hmm. trying to do it like nationwide and mm -hmm. so right now I feel like everyone's distracted with all this coronavirus stuff they're gonna try and do the most when it comes to gun laws and restricting stuff because right now nobody's you know nobody not as many people are gonna fight it they're gonna be distracted and mm -hmm. focus on other things so I feel like when stuff like this does happen we got to pay close attention to other things happening too yeah absolutely, absolutely. that's you true. know yeah they always try to sneak stuff past us, uh, without yeah. a doubt. <laughs> without a oh, doubt. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that's how we wound well, up with, uh, what was it, the Patriot Act? Remember that thing? They, yeah, mm -hmm. we, we don't have gem? time to vote. We don't, yeah, and Obamacare and all yeah. that garbage. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we don't have time to read it, Walter. Yeah, we don't have time to read it. Yeah, no time to read the bill. we got to do this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah pass the bill to find out what's in it. Yeah, right. I yeah. think that's uh, HR 5117 or something like that. Someone, someone right. out there. Yeah. Will correct Hank Johnson, on. right. Yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, I think they're always going to try to do these kinds of things. And, um, you know, we do have to stay vig vigilant for that. And I know I saw some folks posting about yeah. that. As well as there's lots of states using all of this um, to, to enact all kinds of emergency rules and things like that right so it's not just trying to shut down uh, right gun manufacturers i think they're just trying to inflict control over people right now and i know that um i think yesterday trump extended this whole thing because i think initially they were saying they were going to do 15 yeah. days now it's going i think until the end of april april 30th yeah april 30th yeah I mean, when have we had something like this in America where it's and it's not I don't think they're going to start arresting people, although no, I did no. see I did see this, guys. You, did you do you know there was a preacher here? I think there was one in Michigan, but there was also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a preacher here in Florida that was having, you know, uh, a big congregation on Sunday and they went and arrested him yesterday. Yeah, I right. mean, that's just that's just stupid crazy okay mm -hmm. it's just i so, mean okay i i would people get all freaked out about the government and everything mm -hmm. but there is something to that whole thing i'm not getting in big groups of people mm -hmm. uh look at miami dade and spring break mm -hmm. right right but what about people voluntarily uh, do we walter i don't know there you go you're back okay. oh. yeah yeah what about That's people cute. voluntarily doing that like i understand why there's the advisory but what if the folks in the church want to get together and you know they want to they want to worship yeah, together. Those that's also, first amendment guarantees. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's also against the Constitution because, I mean, that's violating your freedom of religion. That's vi violating your freedom right. basically to conjugate together just, and just symbol, freedom yeah. of okay. speech. Well, yeah. You know, and, 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 and who's going to buy themselves a ventilator, huh? <laughs> when, granny's, when Granny needs a ventilator, is Granny going to put up cash for a ventilator? Listen, she went to church. I understand that, but okay. So why why arrest the pastor and not everyone? Everyone because he was the one that instigated the whole thing. That's why. Uh huh. Okay. But also, you should know that if you're going out around a bunch of people like that, you're taking a huge risk. So if you're older, don't you sh you know don't be surprised if it could like affect well, your health. Mm -hmm. But well, I just don't like it when the government starts treating people like kids and telling you, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that. You know, that's. Uh, I, it's crazy. You know, I, I do too, but I have a lot of adults act like kids, so mm -hmm. um, they just do things. They're just, you know, there is something to the whole thing of staying away from everybody and, and letting it run its course. If you continually um, infect more people, it'll, it, as Hank says, everyone will get it, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think and that's how everybody that's how everybody gets it because they keep. They just keep it, it keeps growing, get growing and growing, yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. I think, though, that people still, you know, um, have the right. If they're like, hey, I want to, we want to get together, I think it's a voluntary thing at well, this then, point. Then you know, what stops them from going to Home Depot or grabbing the gas pump you just grabbed? Well, that, what stops them <laughs> from doing that anyway? I mean, me, but, here, but, here in Gainesville, people are still all, moving all around and doing stuff. All it takes is one person in that church to, to infect a thousand people. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Or like, uh, like for uh. example, when they made like a curfew, mm -hmm. they claim that oh, we, you know, we're making a curfew because since we're letting, you know, we're not arresting people for nonviolent crimes, then if less people are out at night, there'll be less crime. Mm -hmm. To me, that's kind of the same as gun control because they're saying like, oh, if we, you know, make everyone go to their houses, no one's going to commit crime. But in my head, I, I think maybe wouldn't that make more crime happen because people are like. Well, there's no witnesses. There's no people out. Yeah. Criminals don't already follow rules, so they're just going to go out True. and commit I war think there's that aspect. I think there's that aspect of it that we have to think about as well, right? Imagine you're going to tell people, you know what? If you guys keep getting together in these groups, we're going to arrest you. But by the way, criminals, we'll let you go. You can go yeah. out. We don't want you. We don't want you to get sick, even though you're in prison, and that's where people are getting sick real easy. So we'll let you out with your sickness and go into the population, and you're a criminal doing nonsense. But everyone else, the law-abiding people who are out there, you all have to do what we say, and you know, stay away from from being in large groups. I don't know. It's kind of like, you know, those two things are kind of button heads against each other. I think. You, know? you could survive. Yeah. You could survive not going to church for two yeah. weeks. Now, no, listen. I think all. I think <laughs> Sorry, all of can't. us. All of us should have the opportunity to, to decide what we want to do. Like, I don't like being in massive crowds of people in the first place, even when everything's good. <laughs> you know, well, do I don't. I. I don't like <laughs> big gatherings of people anyway. Right. So I'm not going to do it. I'm sure you're not going to do it. And lots of people out there aren't going to do it. But how do we know? Look, let's say let's say we go with the um, I don't know what happened to. Oh, it looks like. OK, Raquel, I think your phone fell down. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let's say we go with My the phone. let's go with the alien thing. What if the reason why they don't want us hanging out is so we don't realize that our fellow human beings have been body snatched by the aliens? Bam. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Maybe this is why. <laughs> What do you think, Roy? Yeah. This is a possibility. I've never actually considered that angle till right now. I yeah. Must say it. Yeah. You know, think about yeah. that. But How do we know Walter's Walter? That might not actually be. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's Walter because yeah. he's eat. I just I, saw I, him eating, so he's well, not an alien. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you I know, don't know, they do lie to us a lot. I mean, they took video footage of a hospital in Italy and used it here in the United States and tried to say it was New York. Mm -hmm. So they lie. We know they lie. Who what did, who, did like who did that? CNN? Um, no, was it yeah. MSNBC? Do you remember? CBS. CBS. Yeah, no, it was CBS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw it this morning. They yeah. took footage, and you and then you can kind of hear it, like you can hear them speaking in Italian, like low key. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a, that, that was it. That, that was in Hoboken. That was Hoboken. Yeah, they, we're talking about the Italians. <laughs> oh, come on. That was Hoboken. <laughs> I was looking at something over the weekend. Speaking, of, just remind me. Speaking of Hoboken, uh, so I I used to live in New Jersey for a little while, and, and both of my sons were born in Jersey. And I was looking at this thing. Um, I think it was Joe Rogan or something. They were talking about Hoboken, and they were saying it's so bad they had to like shut the whole <laughs> the whole town down because people in Hoboken party. And I was just rolling around laughing on the floor because I remember. Going into Hope, Lola used to work in Hoboken, and it was crazy. Um, yeah. So, did you over the weekend? Did you get your did your emergency thing go off on your phone, uh, in, about uh, going out in groups of ten or more in boats? Yes. The, no, in boats. No, I don't know if it was in boats. We got a thing. It went off around here, you know, because people have been going out in large groups in boats. In boats. Okay. Well, you're not. You're not. You can't be socially distanced six feet away in a boat for the most part, unless mm -hmm. you got a yacht. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So uh, they put that on the alarm thing, you know. Bah, bah, bah. You know, like was, mm -hmm. um, you know, remember. Bah, 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 bah. It's like okay, whatever. Yeah. You know, stay off your on. yachts. Stay off yeah, your yachts. Yeah. Stay off your stay off your pontoon boat. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys get That's those? Funny. I never got that. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I haven't received an alert like that yet. Yeah. The phone alerts, by the way, are very annoying. You know, that's yeah. another thing I don't like about the government. The government being able to push an alert through my phone. No, well, don't like it. it's one thing if there's a tornado bearing down on you, but when know. when they when they when they put some of the stuff out and you go, why did they use that for that? You know, what's that? Yeah, mm -hmm. I got yeah. an alert that the purge was commencing. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. Really? Where'd you get that alert from? <laughs> no. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and now we low ammo, the low ammo alert. <laughs> yeah. Warning, warning. Yeah. Purchase your ammo yeah. now. I think there's look, th especially if this thing goes longer, I think there's going to be people 
pushing back saying why the hell does the government get to tell me that i have to right. stay in the house and i can't well, go yes. out right or especially when when more and more small businesses who depend on large gatherings of people start to go under mm -hmm. restaurants uh, mm -hmm. bars anything like that i think you will see more and more open acts of just plain old civil disobedience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.